Hey guys, thanks for joining again. So I had the privilege to help out at a camp meeting a couple weeks ago at Kenyatta University Seventh-day Adventist Church. Now, my wife and my kids were also able to join me, so it was just kind of like a nice little family affair. So as a background, here in Kenya, what's a little bit different than back in the United States is that the church essentially has empowered each local church to conduct or lead out in a camp meeting versus, you know, in the U.S., we're used to pretty much having either regional or conference specific camp meetings. But it's, it's awesome just to see how in terms of just the local church level, each church was kind of empowered to lead out camp meetings. So pretty much all summer long, there's camp meetings going around all, around, all across the country. And so for myself, we had the privilege to go down to Kenyatta and to be able to help out at the camp meeting there. So as you can kind of infer, the church is actually at uh, Kenyatta University, which actually is a public university. So kind of way back when, a couple of decades ago, they actually um, were able to get about like an acre of land for the Adventist church to build a church on the university campus which is really cool uh, for the church and awesome opportunity to minister and to reach those students there. So I was able to go down there and I was part of a team and um, each of the kind of volunteers, uh, we had some pastors involved and some you know, just kind of lay people helping out with different topics. So I was able to speak on health and different talks, topics around uh, health. And then there was also topics on like family life, dating kind of relationships, uh, the, sanct uh, the prophecy, rather, Bible study, and stewardship. And the whole theme was salvation simpli simplified, Jesus in the sanctuary. So we were able to kind of focus our topics together in this kind of theme for the week. And the meeting started that Sunday evening and then ended the following Sabbath in the evening as well, too. And so it's a full, full week, started from like 6 or 7 in the morning, and the meetings kind of concluded each day around 6 to 7 p.m., and it was just kind of an all day, different topics throughout the day. And then there was music service um, throughout the day as well, too. So it was really cool just to be a part of that uh, ministry. And, you know, it's actually really inspiring during the week just to see so many young people because that church was primarily led by all university age students. So seeing these people, young people uh, being so involved and in leading out church in every aspect, it's just inspiring just to see that um, in that age group. And so we were able to do that. And every day, I think attendees-wise, there's probably around 300 people that came out. And what was cool is that they provided lunch every day uh, during the week. And so, you know, again, watching young people prepare from the morning um, all day just to get all these meals out for the students and them sacrificing to provide these meals, um, again, is just inspiring. And then by the time it got to Sabbath, it kind of gradually increased. And so by Sabbath, in terms of main service, there was probably between two to 3,000 students, or members rather, that came out uh, for the Sabbath service. And it was awesome to see because during the week, um, the Holy Spirit was moving and people were convicted. And so on Sabbath, 13 people decided to give their lives to Jesus. And we were able to witness a baptism on Sabbath as well too. So it was really cool just to be able to participate and help out in this ministry during the camp meeting. It was a good opportunity for my family and I to spend together and just to see um, just at a local level how the church is moving and it was just inspiring. But I wanted to share that this week. I hope you are able to enjoy that. But until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.